Perdita Felician is a world hurdling champion, Olympian, and she's our friend. She can now add author to her resume with her new book that comes out today, My Mother's Daughter, a memoir of struggle and triumph and pump to have Perdita join us uh, this morning. How does, that, how does that sound? Author, look at you. It, hello, good morning, my friend, Tim. You know, it sounds fantastic. You're my first interview today on Pub Day. And it's so fitting because, you know, we go way back and it's, it's an honor. Totally. Well, congratulations on the book. It is, it is a fabulous read. The book is about your life, but also about your mom's life. Can you tell our viewers just a little bit about your mom? Yeah, so my mom was a teen mom in the tiny island of St. Lucia. Uh, she had to drop out of school to help her family just make a living. She's probably 11, 12 years old. And uh, she becomes a teen mom later in life. But she meets a, a wealthy white family on the beaches of St. Lucia who are from Oshawa, Ontario, in the late 1970s. And she, she approaches them and just they, she notices they have a three-month-old baby and she just says, hey, do you want a babysitter? And uh, that started a friendship and a relationship that brought her to Canada. And there really started my mother's struggle to really try and make it into this country. I come about, I'm not planned. I'm not really a part of her, you know, her, her story. She, you know, she had to make a decision of what to do in this country with a small child. Others are still left behind. And so that's where the, the story begins. Well, there, there's so many, there's so many turning points in, in your mom's life. And ha have you ever wondered what would have happened if your mom made a, a different decision? Because like one moment in life changes everything. Honestly, Tim, you just you just took the words out of my mouth. Do you want to do this press tour for me? Because I'm like, <laughs> that is exactly. I didn't know my mom's story growing up, right? She has me. My father skips out. I don't know him. I've never met him. Couldn't pick him out of a lineup. And um, she could have made so many different decisions. She's pregnant with me and working for a wealthy family who take advantage of her. Don't give her any maternity leave really give her meager pay, and she's working around the clock. So she goes into labor with me in Oshawa, Ontario, as she's working. And the family's inconvenienced by her going into labor with me. So I do wonder, Tim, like, what if she didn't keep me? What if she didn't decide to stay in Canada and she decided, to, I'm just going to go back to St. Lucia, forget this hardship. Um, and so I look at all the twists and turns that happened in my mother's life. And like you said, one moment in time, one different decision, my life would have been very, very different. Did, did you have, do you have pressure on yourself, or did you have pressure or continue to have pressure to... I don't know, to do something meaningful with your life because of what your mom went through to get to this point? 100%. I don't even think the word was pressure. I think it was motivation. I, I wiped my mother's tears so much. We lived in a woman's shelter. We had no place to live. We were homeless. And I witnessed those things. And as a five, six, seven-year-old, I was actually really perceptive. I knew my mother's life was hard. Didn't really understand why. But I realized I can't be on the list of things that makes mom cry. I just refused. And that really was my motivation as I ran. And I could have given you the sports story, Tim. You know we love a good sports story. But truly, you understand who I am as an athlete, as a competitor, because you know my mother's story. And I weave those things together. So there's sport and there's, you know, mother-daughter relationships in there. We, just, we have just over a minute. I want to get to two things quickly. What did she mean for your athletic career? And what does it mean for you now to be a mom yourself? Yeah. Uh, I quit track for two years in high school. I hated the event, and my mom nagged me. She uses the word encourage, but truly, Tim, we know she was nagging. She nagged me to go back for, for nearly two years, and I did basically because of her. So without her as a silly teenager, I wouldn't have had my athletic career. I know that without a doubt because I wasn't that, you know, into it. Now to be a mom to little two-year-old Nova is, um, it's made the bond with my mother and I more precious. And I understand why she took the risks she did. I understand why she made the decision she did because she loved her children so much. I'm one of five. This just happens to be our story because I'm her first Canadian born. Okay. Um, I, we're running, a, we're, we're out of time. Um, <laughs> I need more time with you. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's get another time. But here's the thing. Uh, the book is out today. My Mother's Daughter, a memoir of struggle and triumph. You're doing a virtual chat with your mom tonight, 745. So you can go to perditefelician.com slash events if you want to uh, listen in on that because I bet you that is going to be wonderful. And, and give it a read and support our friend Perdita because it is, it is great. And hopefully, Perdita, we can have you back because Tokyo is coming up. I know you're involved with that. So maybe we can have you back on the show to uh, look forward to uh, the uh, 2020 20, 21 games. Whatever they are. Yes, I'll see Whatever you then. Okay. Uh, congratulations. Thank you.